Hi, I'm Bob Harris for Concrete Network. Is your floor a good candidate for polished concrete? There should be a close examination of your floor to find out if it is a good candidate for polished concrete. There are many variables that can play into determining if you have a desirable canvas to polish, starting with the mixed design of the concrete, how it is placed, finished, and ultimately cured. Oftentimes, there can be so many surface blemishes and imperfections like this divot in need of repair that the decision will need to be made to move forward with refinement. It is important to understand that cracks will not disappear. However, with proper patching materials and techniques, most blemishes can blend nicely and not be as noticeable. It is important to set realistic expectations of what can and cannot be achieved with the polishing process. This project had a tremendous amount of repairs needed. However, the end result was stunning, producing a distressed looking polished concrete surface. It is important to closely evaluate the floor on the initial walkthrough, identifying surface imperfections like this construction joint. This is a scenario where one pour abutted up against a previous day's pour, creating a stripe across the surface as a result of hand finishing and not machine finishing. This usually requires more aggressive grinding, but oftentimes this cannot be fully removed, especially if the specified profile is a cream finish. Other scenarios require close evaluation like the scratches in this floor, which obviously would require metal bond diamond tooling to remove. Cracks will need to be identified and addressed with a variety of different products and techniques. Cracks can be routed out and filled with a combination of structural urethane and silica sand to get them to blend. There are products referred to as grind and fill in which a liquid is applied in front of the grinding machine, creating a paste that will fill the crack with the actual cement powder from the floor. This is a very effective way of repairing the cracks, but understand that if the building has not been climatized, this crack can reopen up, causing failure of the patch. The way a new concrete slab is cured can often have dramatic effects as well. In this case, the blanket was not flat on the surface, creating a differential cure with streaking. Blankets should lie flat, as seen here, with plenty of water underneath them. On this project, the contractor brought the floor all the way up to the specified grit, thinking that all of the steps would remove all of the cure lines. Unfortunately, this was not the case. And the remedy was to grind deeper, exposing a uniform coarse aggregate exposure, driving the project budget up an additional $1.50 per square foot from the original bid. The floor flatness, referred to as FF, and the floor levelness, which is referred to as FL, can have a dramatic effect on the final appearance of your polished concrete surface. Notice how this looks very wavy and also the pockets of coarse aggregate exposure as a result of low FF and FL numbers. This surface was specified as a cream finish. To avoid this, concrete must be placed and finished with certain tolerances and using a laser screed and proper finishing steps and procedures. In extreme cases, and if the surface is failing, there may be the need to mill or aggressively grind the surface and then put a cementitious overlay down, creating a new canvas.